Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I'm Scott. And I'm Sherry. And we own a Sylvan Sport Go camper, which National Geographic calls the coolest camper ever. So that makes us the, the coolest, coolest campers, campers ever. ever. So anyway, uh, we couldn't go camping this weekend. Uh, tip number one for this video, if you have two SUVs and only one of them has a trailer hitch, uh, and the one with the trailer hitch has problems, mechanical problems, you might want to rethink having two trailer hitches. Anyway, that's why we're not camping, but it worked out well because... It's 110 out today, so we might have been a little bit miserable. We would have been a lot of bit miserable. <laughs> we know that from trying to camp two weeks ago when it was this hot. So we're in our backyard. Yes, this is what our backyard looks like. We like it a lot, but we're still gonna make this video and review this Craftsman toolbox. This is a cantilever toolbox. I don't know what that means. That's like a mechanical technical term. We'll show you what it means here in a second, but we found this from watching videos, just like the one you're watching right now. We found someone who was an avid camper and loved using this toolbox to store, well, they were using it for kitchen gear, and so that's what we're doing as well. That's right, and I'll put a link to this toolbox in the description. There are several companies that make these. Craftsman makes one. I got this one at Lowe's. You can get DeWalt. They make one as well that's the same style. Stanley makes one. It's a Fat Max something or another toolbox. <laughs> but you have DeWalt, Craftsman, Stanley. Those are the three that I know of that I looked at. And uh, I went with the Craftsman because it was uh, about the same price as the others. And it was in stock at Lowe's. So I could actually look at it and get my hands on it and not just order it and show up and then figure out if it was going to work. So you ready to dive right in? Let's go. All right, let's check this thing out. A couple things I like about this is the handle is sturdy and I like the big wheels at the bottom. Uh, I've already gone up and down stairs and over little ledges and these wheels, they're hard plastic. They're not like soft rollerblade type wheels, but they are bigger wheels and it does make it easier to go over grass or rocks and those kind of things. So I'm gonna put the handle down and it has a locking mechanism with a push in the back. I'll put some videos of this in the video or some photos of this in the video so you'll see what I'm talking about. It has a handle on top so you can pick it up. When it's full, it's pretty heavy though. So I don't anticipate us using that handle very much. But here's what we like about this thing. There's a little spot here to put your foot on and to open it, you can just squeeze up on this silver level lever and push back and it latches into place. So you can see it open right there. Okay. okay, so it's opened up. This very top part is like a toolbox in itself. And I do want to mention that none of this comes apart. So you can't take this toolbox apart or this part. That's a little bit different than some other modular systems that you can find out there where all the pieces latch together and you can take them off separately. We like that this is all in one toolbox. So these metal levers are pretty solid. Just flip those open. Now you've got a, basically a toolbox on the top. The other thing that uh, I've seen in the video we watched about this was that this lid sits back here and you can set things there. So again, we haven't used this camping yet, so we're probably gonna refine how we pack this, but we've got basically some essentials that we need to have easy access to. Trash bags, soap, uh, our lighters, some spam. Oh no, that's Pam, not, not spam. It's the internet thing. Pam, you know what this is. Um, paper towels and Aluminum foil, the heavy duty, of course. And then if you come in a little bit closer here, these areas have dividers. Here's a divider that came out of here. So you can put these dividers in like this and have eight different spaces here. Again, we're just trying to figure out how we want to do this. So we have cups here. We have clothespins here where we hang our lights that we showed you in another video. We've got some uh, aspirin there, our seasoning there, 
some coffee, some expandable cups, and then our silverware is down there. Again, we'll probably tweak this as we use it more and be more efficient with it. But down here in the bigger space, I actually have room to put the Coleman gas lantern in here. I don't have a case for this, which is kind of nice in this case, because in the box, it fits right here in the bottom. Then we have our plates, our bowls, we have our kettle, we have our French press coffee maker. I like coffee camping in the morning. And again, from other videos that we've watched, this is the way to do it. We have our cast iron skillet and then two propane tanks for our Coleman grill. So there you have it. Um, I'll put all this back together and I'll show you how it folds back up and we'll wrap up this video. Okay, so I've got everything put back in place. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to close it up. Start by locking the top lid. I'm gonna put my foot down here on the little foot rest thing to hold the base in place. I'm gonna grab this silver lever here and push from behind and you can hear it latch shut. I unhitch the handle and away we go. Well, as Scott was showing you, this toolbox holds a lot of stuff and it is just super convenient to have one box that can hold all those little pieces that you're trying to find a way to be efficient and pack. And this just loads right up and everything is packed together. I think it's just gonna be one of our absolute favorite purchases through this camping journey. Um, but we will keep you posted in future videos as we, as we find better ways to use it and to make sure that we, we stand by that statement, right? Yeah, and there's a lot of space in there left to be used. So the bottom space is only half full. We could fill this top space quite a bit. We've got a couple of empty containers in the middle part. Depends on what you like to take camping. There will be different ideas for how you could utilize this toolbox. In a future video, we'll review a box that we purchased similar to this, but in a smaller scale that we're gonna to use to keep all of our power supplies in, our chargers and our fan and the things that go inside of our camper. And it actually will fit perfectly under the table in the Sylvan Sport Go. We'll show you that in our next video. But for now, thanks for watching. We hope that this was helpful information for you. If you like the video and we're helping you out, please like and subscribe and come join us for the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.